Hi Taurus, welcome to your tarot reading for the week of October 9th until the 16th. I have to remember because I don't usually do these types of readings. I'm hoping that I'm going to get through all 12 signs. I'm not sure that I will. This is kind of like a filler type of a reading because um, I'm doing love readings sometime this week, probably towards the end of the, this week, and I have a new deck that I just received in the mail, and it, it looks good. It's called Crystal Visions, so I'm going to be using that one, so stay tuned if you're interested in a love reading. But at least your sign is going to have a uh, general tarot reading for this week. Now, I'm kind of revising my spread because I think that the longer spreads are a little bit much for just a one week period. So I'm going to do a simple past, present, future and see how that goes. And I'm going to, I think I'll pick two for each. Interesting. It's so it's so interesting um, because all of these kind of correspond with each other, each uh, set. Now, just to let you know, this is the Rider Weight deck. I'm going old old school this week, and using my Pamela Coleman illustrated Rider Weight deck. And because um, usually I use Morgan Greer. So let's look at this because I I just. I can't believe it actually. So let's look at the two past positions. The two of, <laughs> I was going to say the two of High Priestess, the High Priestess and the Page of Cups. And um, the High Priestess is a card of connecting with your higher self and going within and also it can sometimes indicate that something is not being revealed at this time. The moon is a prominent feature. You can see that it is um, below her, a crescent moon. The moon represents deception. It also deals with uh, Pisces in the, the tarot, the moon card is connected to Pisces. So it could involve a person of that persuasion, Taurus, that you may be involved with and that person has not been straightforward with you, or even with career matters, that you might sense that something is up. And maybe you've been noticing a flurry of activity or just odd behavior from a superior, uh, like your supervisor or co-workers and you can't put your finger on it but you think that something's going on behind the scenes. In addition I got the Page of Cups and this is a card associated with Pisces and you see the fish. In my Morgan Greer deck they have the fish too. You know sometimes going back to this Rider Waite deck I can see little details that I didn't notice before. I do believe this connects specifically to Pisces, but all water energy, so Cancer, Scorpio, and what it represents, creativity, spirituality, emotion. Page being the youthful version, but there's gullibility. So I do think that it's showing that in the past you may have believed certain things that people were telling you or a person was telling you, and even the high priestess could indicate that your gut was going against it. Your intuition was saying, no, that's not right. That person's lying to me. But you overrode it because you wanted to believe what you wanted to believe. 
And um, so in the, those types of situations, the person involved has to accept responsibility too. This happens so much in so many different areas of life where we we just know that something isn't as it seems and yet we agree to suspend disbelief for for whatever reason because we want to be with a certain person or we don't want to get a new job even though it looks like underhanded behavior is occurring because Taurus, you're a fixed sign. So if there's any thought that you might have to alter your life, you're like, ugh, that's the last thing I want to do. I'll just stick my head in the sand and it'll go away. Okay, let's put these cards aside for a second so I can go to this next set. And so you see that the two cards here, they're both talking about um, the Page of Cups can be also somebody who's artistic, uh, there is that intuitive quality being of the cup, so it is connected to the high priestess in that sense. With uh, these two cards, they're both pentacles, so it's more practical nature. This is the current situation. We have the eight of pentacles with the page of pentacles. Uh, so another page, you know. Uh, by the way, pages can also be uh, new experiences. So this could be like a new relationship that you're involved with, and you feel, you sense that, you're being kept in the dark about something. Something isn't exactly as it seems. Uh, but that's in the past. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is being hard at work. So even if like you assume something is going awry with your place of employment, you may be getting additional certification in order to kind of uh, stave off any... A possible layoff or something like that. You want to be the most qualified that you can be for whatever it is that you're involved with. Or if this is a personal relationship, you're just trying hard to make it work. And you're uh, doing everything you can think of to on your end of things to make it work. And then along with that, we have the Page of Pentacles. This could be that um, you receive some sort of money uh, I would definitely, even though I've this is a, a short-term reading, I would definitely suspend all the timing of this because of the fact that it's just a week-long period. Um, and yet, of course, it is possible that you could get this all within one week. But just look at these as thematic influences and see if they ring true. The Page of Pentacles is the student card, so... Along with that Eight of Pentacles, you may be getting some certification and maybe even taking a course at a university in order to qualify for something. And um, the other thing about this is could be a message that you receive about money. Maybe you've uh, applied for financial aid and it's coming through for you. Um, in terms of a relationship situation this could have something to do with that person maybe you hear some news about that person especially if that person it's possible that they have both water especially Pisces and earth in their charts and um, so we see them almost as an earth sign as much as we see them as a Pisces or some water sign. So that could be that you find out something about that person as you're trying to make something work. So um, then we look at the future and we have the hangman card. I always am wondering, is this upside down? Uh, this is, yeah, because all the cards are titled at the bottom. So this is the right side up. Because uh, he's supposed to be upside down. And this could be that you decide to lay off any kind of pursuit of somebody. Maybe you've been trying really hard to make something work, and you decide to let go. You decide to kind of back off. Um, and, and same with um, a workplace situation. You may have been trying to be the perfect employee, um, get all the perfect certification, and you can see that in some cases that it's not 
doing anything. And so you're at a crossroads. Should I stay? Should I go? Now you see that moon again. The moon is featured in this as well. Again, a possible deception. The person may be afraid to really look at the situation. That's what, what the blindfold represents. And so it can be that you're having to make a decision maybe you don't want to. So both of these cards are kind of um, tentative cards. So let's pick another one. Let's just pick the bottom of the deck. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Perfect. The world. This is like the end of a cycle. And you are having a full moon, Taurus, in November, November 4th. So this is coming up in the next month for you. So it's possible that you're wrapping up something in your life. And so these events are occurring in order to kind of get you into that frame of mind to prepare you for whatever is going to come next when you have a new beginning because any time that there's an ending there's a beginning okay and so uh, very interesting very interesting and and I guess um, this shall continue to be continued that's how they say it okay Taurus well there you have it I hope you enjoyed this if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below this video and um, it'll take you to my online store. But otherwise, I hope this week is very intuitive and um, rewarding financially for you. Take care. Bye.